Do we want to look like we're talking to each other? Or no. Okay. Know? I'm just going to ask you a question. Oh, okay. So, um, you both have been in the workshop. This is your fourth time, fourth year in a row, right? Coming yes. back and mm -hmm. just what are your what are your thoughts about how each year is a little bit different, how it's changed, or what how you've internalized some of it? Well, we talked about this, mm -hmm. that our first encounter was really just like a new way of thinking, right? It was just very challenging to, you know, understand that a lot of the, you know, kind of old way of thinking in terms of teaching directly to students wasn't as effective as helping them work through the process on their own. And coming each year is definitely, it's just gotten easier for me. Yeah, I think that first year I was greatly impressed with so many of the strategies, but I was also trying to learn the playbook from which you created those teaching strategies. So I had to learn as a student, and from that perspective, a student of the, the way of thinking, but also as a teacher, as a way to use those strategies in the classroom. And so the first year, I really, like Art, I think said, we, went, we came away from it almost like exhausted at the end of the day. We were just like intellectually exhausted. <laughs> but I knew that it was something I needed to go back and revisit. Um, and so I appreciated the handouts and all that, those kind of things. And then the second year I was able to say, wait, I've got this. And I was refining my understanding of the playbook and all that it entailed. And I was able to start implementing maybe a small piece of it, like the grammar dice, I think was the first thing I implemented. And it was wildly successful in the classroom. And then, I knew when I moved to an upper level of students where they were doing a lot more analysis, I needed to be able to teach that effectively. And I have never been taught like how to teach text analysis. It was something like in grad school, you do that intuitively. And, and I didn't have the step-by-step -step strategies. And so the workshop gave me those strategies to be so purposeful. And as you said, like, have those very short calls. Okay, I need more L2 here, or I need you to pair the L1 and the L2. And so by year three, I could finally start implementing that in the classroom. And um, like next year, I feel like I can even push that further. Uh, so I still haven't implemented 100% of what I've learned here, but I'm definitely getting more each year. Yeah, and I, I think the biggest difference I've made for my teaching is helping those weaker students who don't understand what's going on in the mind of a more successful student. Like, how do they, how are they doing what they do? And just creating these graphic organizers, the framework L1, L2, it, it's something that just opens up a world for those students. Because really, in the past, it just used to be like, well, you know, you get it or you don't, and you just try to hopefully right. eventually you get it. And here is actually making explicit these internal things that are happening, like making it like external for people to see. And it's amazing, when I come back to the workshop, I feel like I'm not relearning, I've learned it. And mm -hmm. so I'm able to just like pick up where we left off last time, even though it's been like, you know, a year since the previous workshop. So I highly recommend that people work this like a muscle, like, you know, it's a sport, you gotta practice, and practice is what, you know, brings, brings a, Success. So, Art, you're a middle school teacher, yes. which uh, that's not the largest crowd we usually have. So, was that um, difficult for you to think about how this is going to look in middle school? Because I think sometimes middle school people are like, oh, I can't do this. This is not possible. That type of thing. Did, was that I after your first thing, year? Or? Yeah, for me, I think the key thing is to really identify where you can make the biggest difference for your students. And I think it is about making visible those strategies that the successful students are doing just intuitively on their own. And I teach an on-level class, and for those students, it makes the biggest difference because they're just, they just don't have that, that instinct for it. And so if you practice it and you repeat it and you're calling it the same terminology, eventually they get that, you know, it gets wired into them. And so, there's so much content that Michael and Ian teach here that a lot of it 
is very advanced for my population, but um, you know, the, basically the the difference at that point made, I think, is just you know, I, I can't speak more highly of it than I than I am. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's made a big difference. Okay, great. We're ready for sixty minutes.